welcome to Soul Elixir. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Mike Bates, and I'm joined by the beautiful and talented Mo. What up, Mo? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> the beautiful and talented Tamika Scott is a part of the show. Hello. And of course, the very <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the handsome and very talented D Hen is a part of the show, y'all. What up, Dick? Super out there, man. <laughs> Yo. So, so what's going on with everybody, man? How's everybody feeling tonight, guys? Y'all all right? No I'm all good. I'm fantabulous. I'm fantabulous. I'm always fantabulous. Especially when, oh, man. you know, we have awesome guests, awesome show, awesome topic. I'm always on point. So I'm just ready to rock and roll. What about you? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready, man. I'm, I'm always feeling good and ready, man. It's just, I love to have fun. You know, I love to have a smile on my face at all times. So I'm ready. Here we go. So okay. let me tell you about the show the tonight. Right? Your face. We're going to have to figure that out now, Goose. <laughs> now it's easy to find out. Uh, hey, we're going to let y'all oh. know what's going on with the show tonight. What's... <laughs> Yo, tonight we're going to be joined by a man that's extremely talented, y'all. He's an author, he's a producer, an extremely talented drummer. And he's worked with like uh, Usher, he's worked with SWV, on, uh, he's written things and produced things for these uh, artists. He's worked with Mary J. Blige, Aaron Hall, and so many others. And I know he's doing a whole lot of stuff inside the gospel scene and everything else, man. On top of it, the man is an artist, y'all. All right, as if that wasn't enough, man came out and made his own dance to wiggle. You know what I'm saying? And everybody out there doing it. So you know it's incredible, man. I mean, this man is talented all the way around. We're going to be joined today by the Big, Big Mr. Big, Mike Clemens, y'all. That's Big, Big Mr. Big, you know, Mike Clemens. You know, a lot of people out there named Big Mike. But come on, you got to be Big Mike Clemens in order to be oh, Big no, Mike. No, you're not Big Mike. All right? <laughs> <laughs> That's all messed up. That's messed up, Mo. I'm going to delete you. No. Delete you. Well, you're not Act Big like Mike. Hurt. You're Mike Bass. <laughs> I'm Mike. I'm sorry. You're Mike, I'm Mike Bass. Bass. I mean, come on. I'm Dick. You know? I'm Dick Mike. Keep your mind out the gutter. You go. Keep your mind out the gutter. <laughs> Oh my God, man. it's hard when you start talking, man. You be saying some off the wall stuff, man. You wow. don't know where you're gonna you come really going to come from. You really want to go there early in the show? No, okay. I'm not going to go there too early. Not I don't think early. you want to come for me right now. Don't come <laughs> for me. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll do that on the hot couch. We'll do that on the hot mm-hmm. couch. You know what I'm saying? Because as always, when you hear the following sound, what's that sound, Mo? All our fans out there already know that's time for the hot couch. At that time, that's the time when we normally get our guests on the show and we talk about some things that they really don't want to talk about sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Things might be embarrassing. Things might be funny. But it's all done in love. You know, we don't never do anything malicious. It's all done in love. But that is the time when anything counts. You know what I'm saying? Anything counts. Y'all be ready for everything. Nothing's off limits. Yo, before all that happens, though, tonight's topic is, is physical appearance important or just shallow? Is physical appearance important or just shallow? If you want to share your thoughts with us tonight and you want to join us on the show, give us a call at 929-477-2668. Again, that's 929-477-2668. And then dial 1 to join in. All right? We would love to hear from you and see what's on your mind. Yo, so okay. Momo, let's start with yeah. you with tonight's mm-hmm. topic. Is physical uh, physical appearance important or just shallow? Um, to you? you know, it really depends. It really, really depends because there's a lot of things for me um, that could be a turnoff. Now, I don't know if it's being shallow, but you know, sometimes, you know, as me as a female, when you look at a guy, for instance, like, and I know for myself, like, if you see a gray hair. You freak out. You know, you go, okay, I got to get that out of there. I got to take some tweezers, <laughs> fuck that joker out, remove it. Uh, so if you are like that internally and processing that, when you see a guy, just hypothetically, you see a guy with gray hair or whatever, <laughs> he's going to be like, yo, <laughs> I mean, on his hair, it's going, oh, it's cool, salt and pepper, a little bit older, okay. On his chest, please, and please don't let it be taco meat. Like, dude, take some wax, wax that joke, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. <laughs> you ain't going around with with great tacos. Uh, now, I mean, if you got a pretty nice food, it might work. But other than that, you got to shave that off. 
But, you know, it's just, just various things of gray hairs that should not be in certain places. And that's all that's so I, I believe. It should not be in certain places. Get so so if it's, stuff, let's, just wet, say, let's just it say it it's, Let's just say if it's below the chest area, like way below the belly button area, would that Yo, just make you like if cute? It's below, would that make you throw up? If you if it's below <laughs> the chest, <laughs> you right you might want to get that thing here. You might want to shave oh it off. Oh my god! Ain't nobody got no time for no old stuff. <laughs> and shave it off. Okay? Oh my god, man. Okay, I'm not Take gonna say that's shallow, but, <laughs> shallow, but it's like damn. Is that I'm not going to say it's shallow, but it's damn close. Wait a minute. No, oh, don't they have that stuff for men called uh, grease and, what is it, just for men or, or grease and formula? Oh, Whatever. my Yo, God. Take that fucking uh. and use it. I don't know. You know what's funny <laughs> is guys take that dye and they, remember they used to dye their hair? black or whatever oh, yeah. and get a oh, yeah. pipe. Yo, you might want to use it there. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. So. <laughs> dye those grades black, huh? See what them grades black, y'all. See, like, I mean, no, seriously. Like, I mean, outside um, of that, I feel like, you know, physical appearance is the first thing you see. But seriously, on a serious note, it should be like the, the inner being of a person. You know what I mean? Like, I know it takes a lot when you look at a person. You've got to be attracted to them in some way. But, you know, again, it's not all physical. So, you know, when you have matured and become seasoned, <laughs> you will realize that <laughs> it's not all the physical aspect. It, it looks good. You know, uh, it's good to have that physical aspect. But, you know, sometimes you want that intellect as well. You know what I mean? You want that person to be able to communicate with you, um, be relatable on the things that you like and both of you like at the same time. So, so what about your shallow moments? Because I know that you're shallow. <laughs> First of all, before we get into my, me answering the question or anything, I will answer later on the show. All right? It may be shallow. It may not be. We have a fine guy. Oh, my God. But the only reason is, Ma, I got to let you know, because we got Mr. Big Mike Clements with us, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We can't have Mr. Big Mike Clements sitting on home waking. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? So I got you know, to let the world know what's going on, y'all. Yo, help me and welcome into this show. Like I said, a man that's an author, a producer, an extremely talented drummer, and has worked and produced with Usher, SWV, Drew Hill, Mary J. Blige, Aaron Hall, and a lot of other gospel artists out there and everything else, man. Great with the band with a great spirit. And oh, a great new dance out. The Wiggle, y'all. Mr. Big Mike Clemens is on the show. Welcome, Mike. Mike! What's you, up, Mike? You. <laughs> what <laughs> real, man? What's going on, What's man? Good? Hey, listen, man, I'm, 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 I'm sitting here laughing at y'all. <laughs> I love it. I love the chemistry, man. I, 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 I love what I'm hearing. You feel me? <laughs> thank, well, thank you, man. You, thank we you. appreciate that. I mean, we yeah. we turn up every Tuesday, so hey, don't make this the, wow. don't make this the last time you're on the show. You can come on at any hey, time. We just true. turn up. That's just what we do. <laughs> but up. we keep it real, though. <laughs> you know. Gotta yeah, we do real. keep it real, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> man you're a busy boy. Hey, you busy, yeah, man. Yes, yeah, you are. Listen, man, I got to be, you know, especially this day and age, everything is expensive. So you got to, you know, you got to do more. You got to do more than one thing now. True. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> multiple, multiple streams. Very multiple true. streams. Yeah, yeah. Very true, yeah, man. Yeah. So I'm, I'm blessed, though. I'm really, I'm really blessed to do what I love to do still. I've been doing it. Um, for over 20 years now um so mm. i'm i'm really really blessed to to do what i do and still you know still still rocking it man it's, i still love playing drums and this new whole artist <laughs> thing is, is something new um but i but i'm loving it i'm loving the the the, the, the hustle the drive you know it's, it's a new it's a new life you know what i'm saying Mhm. yeah it's different than watching it on other <laughs> it's different from than watching it from the other side of the spectrum huh let, let me tell you, different actually being that artist, huh? <laughs> bro, bro, listen. I, I told, I told my wife this. I told a few people. I'm gonna tell you. Listen, I got a whole new respect. I, I'm, I'm used to driving the artist. Hey, do it over. Do it. You know, I'm, I'm used to that. So when it, when it came <laughs> time for me, whew, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, get it. I get it now. I get it. Much respect. Hand, like like for real. Much respect. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. We appreciate that. 
<laughs> and so do yeah. you so now, what, man. That's a good thing, man. So What's talk up, my to mom? us about this. Talk to us about this wiggle line dance. Now I'm gonna I'm say this. Now I remember when you first put it out and you put the challenge out on Facebook, and I said I was going to do it. But what ha- mm-hmm. what had happened was mm-hmm. because you sent me a video <laughs> and and tagged me to it. So what had happened was as I was watching it, you know, I started doing it. I was like. Oh man, I can't do this in a couple seconds. I gotta sit back and really look at this because you know I figured I could go in and say, okay, I can get this real quick. I said, wait a minute, uh, uh-uh. we got it on the red back. Uh, uh-uh, uh, no, I gotta take this one and get that one. It's like, oh, no, gotta man, do it. I got, I got tired looking. I was tired. When I, when I got to this man, I was tired looking. I was like, man, y'all got that, fam. Man. man, listen, listen. It's it's really easy, honestly. I'm not a big dancer. I love to have fun. I'm goofy and all that stuff, but it's real easy. But what what's been fun to me is not only doing the dance, but seeing other people do it. People that put the, mm. I mean, they put their own thing into it. I I got videos of people doing it their way for real. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, wow, like, like th- this is interesting in a good way. Though I mean, it's, I love to see, you know, like my niece does it. She just does does what she wants. You know what I mean? And 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 I I want people to have fun with it. There's there's there's, there's a blueprint to it, but you take it wherever, where, you know, where, wherever you want to go. And I and I love that about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. Now, what made mm-hmm. you what made you want to do sort of a line dance type? Um, Song. Well, it didn't start off like that. See, what had happened uh, was <laughs> and, um, it, it, it started off. We, I wanted, I came up with a concept. Um, I told my brother, my production partner. Shout out to Big Nate Clemens. Um, I okay, told him, Big I Nate. said. Yeah, I, 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 I wanted that he's done everything with me. We from from Aaron to Mary, everything I've done, ninety percent of it he's done it with me. That's my that's my I look up to him. He got me started in, in production, but but we go back okay. to that. Okay. Anyways, um, you know I I said I got this concept, you know, so I went to the studio and you know I gave him my concept, laid it down, and you know, and then we started writing it, and my writing partner, um, um, Joanna Jones, you know. Who, who who writes mostly everything with me? Um, she was like, I think you need a dance to this, you know. And that was really her idea to do the dance because I wasn't thinking about it. I I wanted something. I'm I'm in the fitness and all that stuff as well. So I wanted something with ener- energy that I can actually get hype going to the gym. People can you know use for Zumba classes, all that. I was going for that, and she mm, added okay. the dance to it and actually made up the dance. And and we and, you know and tweaked it and we went we you know we we took us weeks to really get the right concept for it but she came up with that whole part and it just I don't know it just fit what we were doing and we just we stuck it in there and left it in there and, and it worked you know what I'm saying that's how mm. that's how it really really happened and and it's just crazy how you know you know you know how it is Mike you get in the studio and you just start vibing and that's that's it was one of those mm-hmm. vibes it was one of those okay hey, what, what if from a one if to 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 let's keep it, you know, and that's what we did. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Literally, real cool, did, man. So, you know, man. You know I mean, and y'all like I said, you know, stranger this thing, man. I mean, you and your brother Nathan working, like I said, with Mary J. Blige, of course, Coco, you know, SWV, mm-hmm. uh, right. Revenge, man. Oh man, yeah. that's, that's crazy. Thing. That was some crazy singing brothers right there, man. I love them two boys. That rough ass is sick. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. Look, yes. Two Hill? Come on, man. Yes. Y'all, you know, yeah. you've been doing this. Y'all are definitely no stranger to this, man. But you knew when you finished that song that this song was like, okay, all right, this is it. We good. <laughs> like, as soon yeah, as you finished yeah. it, you probably knew. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, because it's I, a I high joy. I loved it, and I tested, you know, especially with kids and, and my nieces and all that. Mm. My son, you know, they was like, yo, we like this song. We like, you know, and, and that's what I really, because I wanted to, something that, I wanted something, I changed some lyrics, you know, it was, it was some different, you know, a couple of little lines I had to change because <laughs> I wanted to fit everybody. I couldn't go all the way, you know, left. I wanted to fit everybody, and, and so we made a decision, okay, let's change this line, let's change that line, because, you know, just in case if it gets on Disney or get somewhere where we, you know, I I don't, mm. want, I don't want the song to be limited, so we we made it clean, and, and it's a song nice. that anybody 
can literally listen to. And my mom, cause she's a church, she's a church lady. I mean, brought up in church. I mean, I ain't never seen her do anything else, but she can mm. listen to it. You know what I'm saying? So that meant a lot to me because of my background, my church background. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going so far left out of my element where people look at me like, uh, you okay? You know, so nice. and, you know, so it took, it took a little tweak, but you know, we we got it there. <laughs> That's cool, man. I mean, most people out there, the listeners, most of them probably don't know that you actually grew up in church, and that's where you actually started learning to play the drums and a whole nine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, tell us about that experience, man. I know that had to be so much fun, man. Like I was forced to go to church. You know what I'm saying? Because I was sitting there. And the only thing that brought, you know, the only thing that brought me joy. I'm being serious. You know, the only thing that brought me joy was when the singing started. Started, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. But dude, you get to sit there and play the drums all drop the back on sermons. Oh man, I know you had a big smile on your face every time. Oh my man. God. Uh, let, me, let me tell you. Let me, let me tell you, growing up playing the drums in church, it, you know, it started me. You know, started me being able to to play different because to me, every genre um, is in church music, you know, from jazz mm-hmm. to hip hop to, you know, everything mm-hmm. is in church music. So that right there it was so much fun and then being young and being you know so-called popular because you're a good drummer <laughs> back then oh i was mm. like we were like the man we were you know we was rocking so so it was it was <laughs> but it was a great experience for me um it, it taught me a lot so it, it's i was just ready to take it further man and, and and make it all i wanted to do literally all I wanted to do was make it to our senior hall show back then. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's cool. okay. Oh, but check it out. But check it out. When 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 I finally got my break, he was off the air. Okay, okay. <laughs> so so I never made it to our senior hall. I made it. You know, God. You know, got me other places, but. You know, I really, that was my, I, I just loved that show. I loved the dude that was Chuck that was playing drums. I was like, oh, that's going to be me. That's going to, you know, I was, I was nice. hyped back then. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's where, I mean, church just, just drove a lot out of me and, and I'm grateful for that alone, you know? Mm, yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Yeah, that's a good foundation, obviously, you know. Yes, a lot of people have to be yes, grounded, sir. especially for this industry, and, and, man. And you, and you know what, too? Let me tell you. When I was with Mary, I don't know. You 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 probably would never remember this. When I was with Mary, and I don't know if you remember her opening up for y'all back then on the Budweiser Superfest. Yeah, yeah. Of course I do. I was her drummer. I was her drummer then. Wow. Okay. Wow, see? <laughs> there you go. I was her drummer. You was with Mary then. right there. Man, that yes. was like 96, 95, yeah. 96. Yeah. yeah, that was my second tour. Yeah, man. Yeah, yep. yeah, Mary, that yep. was a hot concert, boy. I used to sit for that concert almost every night, boy. Oh Listen, my god! I used to sit, I used to sit at y'all, and, and, and I used to sit at y'all and watch that whole. I mean, that was the first time me seeing a big production. Like y'all had, like, I mean, y'all production was crazy. So I was sitting <laughs> Thanks, there like, man. wow, like, oh my god! You see the lights, you see the bombs, you see. Look at the drummer; he got two bass drums. Like I was just going crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that, that, Freddie, that, that, Fred that, Holiday, <laughs> Golden Stick. Right, yep. Fred, yeah, I saw him. I saw him not long ago, um, in L.A. and we talked for a while. He still, you know, I okay. met him back then, and he still remembers me. We still, you know, we still keep in contact when we do see each other. We sit and talk. So, you know, still a good nice. dude, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. always been a good dude, man. We had a yes, good sir. crew. I mean, by God's grace, yeah. we really did have a good crew out there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody was like family, man. No matter what. So that was real That's cool, it. man. But yeah, I used to, I mean, literally, I used to sneak out in the front. I'm not talking about like behind the gate or behind stage. I'm talking about I would sneak out out front with hats on, just walking out with a couple of my cousins instead of with security so people wouldn't know it's me and watch the show from the audience, dude. <laughs> like wow. every night. Yeah. Wow. I would watch it from the audience every night, man. They'd be man. like, man, you not tired of that concert yet? I'd be like, nope. <laughs> the man, and you. Good old days. <laughs> <laughs> those, those are good old days, and, and they don't make For real like, man. Like touring's not like that today. It, it's totally right. different, man. Like back then, it was just fun. Now it's a job. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah, it is. It's you know different. what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot it's different. Like a real job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they uh, they made the most most out of it now. Those schedules that we used to have with a little flexibility, you know, whether it be a yeah. day, two days, whatever that week. I know that time. Those times are gone now, man. This yeah, is like oh yeah, for y'all real. on the grind heavy today these days, man. If I thought yeah. we had it, no, y'all on y'all grind for real. Y'all hit a touring yeah. stage, boy. I hope the fans really appreciate what happens out there. Because, 
because, man, right. there's no easy task. There's no easy task <laughs> to put that smile on your right. face and give that same performance every single night or better. Man, it, it, yeah. it's no easy task. It's not. It's yeah, not. you're right. But no, we appreciate it. I mean, as fans, you know, as artists, we definitely appreciate what you're doing, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, man. man. You're, doing the, you're the truth, man. <laughs> and it's going to be fun for you, man. Man, speaking of tour, Momo. Momo. I know, but you know what tour, I want to do? Let's let's play a little bit of Get Loose Wiggle for a sec so people yeah. can hear. Let's play a little yeah, bit of that. what we're talking about. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something that people can, you know, I want to give the people the truth of me. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not gonna front. Okay. No, I'm not gonna run around with. I ain't no thug. I ain't no. I'm, I'm someone who just. I'm just happy to be alive and blessed and like to have fun. That's me. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Heck yeah, man. That's all accomplished, it, man. Man, that's some heat right there. <laughs> I'm Thank like, you. man. I love it. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm telling oh, you yeah. right now, it does. Just like you said, like you know, you wanted to be able to, you know, because of you being health conscious. You wanted to be able for someone to get in there to, you know, actually move. You know what I mean? And actually listen yeah, to yeah. it and get yeah. that energy and pick themselves up 
to actually, mm-hmm. you know, move around, move a little hip, move a leg, whatever it is. But it gets you, right. you know, get that groove in your body, you know, get your body moving. So you just That's succeeded right. in that. So because I was just sitting here, you, you know, moving in the chair. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. For real, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Thank like, you. man, my energy is all up. I'm like, man, what just happened? <laughs> man. Second like yeah. one, I can't uh-huh. say. <laughs> right? <laughs> just from listening. Man, <laughs> man, you definitely accomplished your goal, brother. Man, it did so. Thank you. Man, Thank you. yo, Thank you. what's next, man? Like, where can, the, where can your fans see you at, man? Where you performing at? Oh, man. I'm working on, so I can't say much yet. I'm working on a promo tour right now. Um, You know, so that, that you'd be on the lookout for that. Um, um, but okay. they, they can definitely... Um, I mean, I'm all over social media. My, you know, my website www.bigmikeclemens.com, and um, yeah, I'm yeah, always, yeah. you know, posting the 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 latest. You know, I, I, you know, so you know, I have a book out. I'm not sure if you guys know that. Yes, we oh, said I know. Awesome. We said <laughs> I know, awesome. I know. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, you know, talk so, about you know, it. I'm, I'm grateful for that, man. It's 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 a book about you know me growing up and you know, from shout to Stratford, Connecticut, of course, Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, you know, I'm from, I'm from Connecticut, and it's you know it's about me growing up and, and battling this weight loss thing, you know, and it's it's crazy because you know I caught diabetes years ago, um, didn't take it seriously, almost died, you know, my sugar level mm. was up to like almost 700. You know, um, mm. and 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 that at that point, Damn. I knew okay, either you gonna take this seriously or you are gonna die. Which one you want? I'm mm-hmm. looking at my son, my my wife, and everybody. They, they, they mad at me, you know. And it's like you know, so I had to take it seriously. And I mean, I lost. Um, I was I was almost 400 pounds, and I lost over 150 pounds naturally. Nice. Nice, you nice. Know, so, so, so that's why I'm so health conscious. That's why, you know, if you go on my social media, you're always going to see me talking about health at least two times a day. You know, because, okay. I, you know, the way the state, the way we are in, especially in the states here, you know, we're so, the obese is so, is so big and our portion mm-hmm. of everything is so big. And I try to tell people, it's cool, it's cool to go to the gym, but if you're not eating right, you know, if you're not eating right, and, and, and taking it seriously, I mean, the gym is just, the gym to me is the speed up, you know, okay. but you have to eat right. And the people that I train, you know, I'm a trainer too. So the people that I do train, I tell them, I mean, like, don't pay me to train you and you go, you go and eat whatever you want, because you're wasting your money. Now, if you want to get right. it, if you want to do that, it's up to you, but I'm trying to give you the blueprint of what I did. Can't nobody tell someone who's never been fat what they've been mm-hmm. struggling, what their struggles have, you know, are, because I can relate. You know, and, right. and I tell people, yeah, yeah, you know, there's days I don't feel like eating right now. You know what I'm saying? There's days I can't eat. It's like, I don't oh, feel like eating, you know, you know, that grilled chicken, right? I want some fried chicken. And I do it. <laughs> right. I do it in moderation and I do it, you know, to where it makes sense. I don't do it every day, you know, and mm-hmm. then I, but, you know, and I love to cook. I cook. I don't eat out like that. I don't, you know, it's a lot of stuff that I had to cut out. I don't eat salt, I don't eat sugar. You know, I just had to change. You know, I went cold turkey for a year, man. I lost this weight, and and um, and it's mm. the best thing. I I took off a good ten, fifteen, you know, years of my life, and I feel like, oh my god, I feel younger than my son, and he's thirteen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I just I feel good. And I'm grateful for it. And I, I believe that God took me through all that so I could be a testimony, so I can share what my my story with with the world and that's what I'm trying to do. I won't be satisfied until in until until really until the end of my life that you know, God, you know, spared my life for whatever what whatever, you know, many years, I wanna still be able to tell people, listen, eat right. This is your know, health is important. You know, because mm-hmm. he gave me that chance and I, I feel like any success that I have you know, any 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 time of me, you know, climbing up and 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 whatever I'm doing, I always want to tell somebody, listen, you can do it, and I want to inspire everybody. And that's my goal, man. I just, I just feel mm-hmm. like I'm here for that. I'm here to inspire people and and let people know that that you can do it. Because I'm the one who lost the weight at the busiest time in my life, so it's no excuse. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm too busy, yeah. or you know, I'm too this and that. I'm not listen, man. I lost the weight when I was on the road. Literally. Oh, so you can't hard that tell is. me that you, oh, man. you already know. You already know, but Ooh. you can't tell me you can't do it. You, it's all about you, you know. It's all about what you want. 
Yeah. Same way you want yeah, you want that true. job, or you want that girl, you want that car, you're going to do whatever you want. It's the same thing. You know, Man. we work hard for our careers, but we got to work hard for staying here and staying, and staying healthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like I said, this this it's, it's that much harder. I mean, you go you go in the dressing rooms on the they did hang on performances and stuff. Or you got soda, yeah. fried chicken in the dressing room, yeah, all man. kinds of candy, yeah. whatever candy oh, you yeah. want, whatever you want is on that table it's every there. single day. And it's so it hard changing. to go past those different tables, right? So yeah, man, yeah, yeah. congratulations! Well, you know I did man, though. That was Let me tell hard. you, what I did. I had. The artist I, I was with at the time, I, I talked to him and said, listen, either either you got to change or, or something. And I was like, listen, we got to change. Put, add something to this writer that's going to help me because I'm diabetic now. So, you mm-hmm. know, you, 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 so, and they, they it, it, it ended up changing the writer to, let me tell you, the domino effect to everybody started eating the way I eat. And wow. everybody being wow. health conscious, and everybody looking at me like, oh, can you give us tips now? Or can you, you know, it it, it just, it's the, the domino effect. My family, the same right. way. My son drinks a gallon of, he drinks water. My wife drinks a gallon of water <laughs> a day. I drink a gallon of water a day. Like, it just, nice. everybody conformed to what I wanted because it's like, you know, that's what we needed to do. And everybody feels great in my household. And right. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing, man. Congratulations, yeah, man. man. Thank you. Thank you definitely you. got a testimony. You definitely have a testimony oh, to share with yeah. everybody, man. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and like you said, it, it's beyond just a want and desire. It's your duty to, to help change yeah. those lives. To tell yeah. what you oh, yeah. Do, oh, yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, it, 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 done, I've been on a plane, literally, and like and felt led to talk to somebody, and I, and I do it. You know, and you know, and mm-hmm. I do it in a way of they're not embarrassed, but I do it. And, they, and at the end of the conversation, they're like, "Thank you." And I'm like, "There you go, mm. thank you, God." You know what right. I'm saying? Like, is this something yeah. right. that mm-hmm. that I felt like, you know? Again, I tell God, listen, it, 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 any chance I get, and he, and sometimes he you go through that test, he puts you to that test, and you see yeah. somebody there, and it's like, um, go talk to him. And it's like now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you right. Know, <laughs> But you, it was, it's what I wanted, you know, and, and, uh, and so I have the opportunity to talk to people. I do it, man, and I do it in a way where it's not bashing them. It's not, listen, I was your weight. I show them pictures. They're like, that was you? Like, I, it's, mm. it's funny, man. Like, people have asked my wife, hey, what's that guy you was married to some, you know, some years back? You know, it's like, it's me, but they're looking at her like, you guys were married or whatever. Or, you know, they're looking at her friend, like, wait a minute, that's not her husband. She cheating on her husband. You know, all that kind of stuff. Like, it's me. You know, so we laugh at wow. that all the time. Man. Oh, we laugh man. at that stuff all the time. <laughs> yeah, wow. they were looking at the pictures, looking at her, talking about man, he's half the man her husband. That's she cheating, nah. Right? Cheating. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, man. <laughs> that that's messed like, up, it, man. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and to me, and, and to me, I feel like I, you know, I don't, I don't look any different. But people, you know, it's like, oh, you look like a completely different person it's like wow oh, I, mm. I just stay focused I just do it I don't yeah. know my wife told me the other day she was like uh you got a little smaller and I'm like I did you know I'm, I'm a workout <laughs> fanatic if I get stressed I work if I uh, got a lot on my mind I work if I'm you know it's it's always I, I go to the gym maybe two times sometimes three you know I just mm-hmm. I get to the end I get up early and I go my first thing I do is go to the gym Nice. You know, so it's it's a lifestyle, man. It's definitely a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle and it's dedication, (laughs) too. You know what I mean? You got to be dedicated to the process. Because I know I slip sometimes. (laughs) I'm like, oh, (laughs) I'm not going to the gym today. Not today. (laughs) And and it happens. You know, sometimes I go and I don't don't feel like it. I may have to do it. It's like, you know what? Uh, I go. And sometimes I get a, a, a... a second win, I go later and, and and act like I never went in my life. I just be in there for two hours. So it just depends. Mm-hmm. Like we're all human, you know. And mm-hmm. sometimes you get burnt out. Lately, I've been just doing a lot of um um body this body weight stuff. You know, cut down the weight. Okay. And just more pull ups and sit ups and all. You know, push ups, all that kind of stuff. I've been just doing a lot of that lately, just to try, just to change my body some and see where where else I can go with it. Know, so okay, you know, it gets, you know yeah, it's, it's it's fun. Nice, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> he, he like at least at least you like the results. 
Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. That's what matters, man. Day. You get the result. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. What's up, Mo Mo? What you want to know? What's up? What do I want to know? What I you want to know? know? I know everything. I know everything. She's going to put the video in. That's what she going to do. She's going to do the dance. <laughs> yeah, she going to do the dance. You know what, Mike? I promise you. I promise she will you. do it. I, She'll do it. I will promise you. I will have that video up. Any listeners, listen. I want Mo will have that video up by next week. I got some things to say. She's joking. She will. She will. will have that video up. <laughs> what next day? He's like, what day next week? <laughs> Oh my God! Don't day. do that. I, look, look. <laughs> yeah. Let's, yeah. let's, let's next, keep next it week, next week. Start, it might be next sooner week than that. Sunday. Huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. What's up, Mike? Okay. What? All right. Uh, All right. Here we go. I will have the video posted. You want me to have it posted by Monday? I'll do that. I have it posted by Monday. Monday. Y'all hear that right? I have it posted right by Monday. 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 Yeah, Monday. By Monday. What time? Yeah, what time? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I need, I need facts. I need facts. I need, you know. Oh. He needs right. some accountability. Okay, <laughs> I, will have it posted by by, I will have it posted by Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 5, 5 p.m. Eastern, Eastern right. Standard Time on Monday. Okay. Okay. And, and okay. Look, I bet you she have it up. <laughs> yeah. All right. She will All be right. doing that dance, brother. Trust me. <laughs> All right, yep. all right. Yeah, now, man. Monday, 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 Instagram, too. Facebook, what? Well, we, you know, it's, you know, it's go a little more deeper. It. Oh, all of it. Go. I see. See? That's what I'm saying. There you go. That's what so I'm she saying. gonna have it up. And you gonna see your dance in full effect. Look, look, I'm not gonna be stingy <laughs> with it. I'll put it all up. Gotcha. Put it right up there. Mm-hmm. Put it everywhere. Yes. Now, my next question. What up? Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike. What's up, fam? <laughs> When you putting yours up? Oh no, no, you 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 ain't gonna see mine. You gonna see you gonna see the chair version on mine. Uh, <laughs> nah, I, I I agree to look at it, get the energy from it, but you ain't gonna see mine, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> nah, I got you. I want you. A, I want you a mind, body, and spirit, my friend. <laughs> I'm the support group. I'm that dude that's gonna download the single, buying it, paying for it legally. You know, I'm that dude. <laughs> got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Right, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Nah, it's all good. You could. Oh yeah. You got, you know, you I love it. that energy. You got it. Yeah, I love that. That's okay. I'll though. use. I'll, I'll get. I'll get a. Um, you know, you get one of those uh, fans, and you put the face on it, <laughs> and I'll get mm-hmm. Mike to do it next to it. <laughs> right. Night. That's messed up. Oh yeah. Oh, no, I'm not dancing <laughs> like I, I'm not dancing like I used to. Oh sure. <laughs> man. man, y'all used to. Oh, oh, it wasn't man. like you were dancing man. hot back in the day. You were jumping. You were oh. dancing. You were jumping. <laughs> What? Oh, no town fair, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> man, we had a move on that tag or something. And yo, the funny part about it was like, okay, Brooke Payne, you know the choreographer, man. This right, brother, uh-huh. he made he made a tape, right? And he was like, Okay, when the tape stops, y'all can stop. Okay? Dude, it seemed like this tape went on for three and a half hours, man. Straight wow. through. And, dude, and we we in a hot warehouse in Atlanta. I was back on Atlanta, wow. Georgia, in a hot warehouse doing this dance for like three and a half hours straight, dude. Yo, we falling, bro. we falling all over the place. The microphones falling. We so back on tired, man. It was crazy, man. Let me, let me tell you. Let me let me tell you. Shout first of all, shout out to Brooke Payne. Well, Brooke mm-hmm. Payne will have you working like <laughs> if you if you think man. if you think you got if you think you have stamina, work with him. Man. <laughs> Oh my Yo, god. Oh my god. Like I listen, we, 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 we recently did a rehearsal not long ago in Atlanta with S W V. When I tell mm-hmm. you and, and I'm the dude this is me. I'm the dude who I will work I will still work out after the gym. Okay. When I tell uh-huh. you me and my wife got back to the room and and, and crawled in the room and went to sleep every <laughs> night. That's what that I mean, I was and she warned me. She warned me. She was like, I'm telling, you, "I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're not gonna be able to take it. You're not gonna." I was like, "I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm good. I've been working. I'm good." Let me tell you, after day one, oh, it, it was like, it was like, okay, my body hurt. Why is my body hurting like this? Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
Man, yeah. No yeah, difference. man. Make you use muscles you didn't even know you had, man. What? I mean, every part but, of your body. The result, the... But the, but the yes. end result is yes. unbelievable. Yes. Yeah, because no he's a perfectionist, way. man. He's a perfectionist. Yeah. He won't. He won't yeah. play. He won't let you. Well, he will stop you in a minute. Really he will stop in a minute. Yep. He was like, you, if you, if you, yeah. you go, you know, stop from the top. We're like, wait a minute, we're at the end of, from the top. Like, yep. what do we? Y'all not hype enough. Oh my. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's it's but it's yeah. great. It show but it shows in them shows. It, it shows off. Mm-hmm. It does. Like, when you when you do shows, it you does. See it. So I I, I respect yeah. somebody like him for real. So much yeah. love. Oh yeah. Book. Definitely. I mean, Brooklyn wait a minute, one of those check guys it out. that. So What's up, let me say this to you guys real quick. Since you guys put me so. on this darn challenge, my phone is <laughs> blowing up. I got like at least seven messages, and everybody's like, uh, "You are, are you going to do the challenge?" Or I look forward to That's the challenge. Right. That's one person right. was like, "Oh, That's I know right. you're you going. I know you're going to make this challenge happen." Like, "Oh my God, you're going to do a challenge." Yeah, don't don't sleep. Don't sleep. <laughs> you know, you know I'll what? do it. You know what, Mo? You don't have to do you know a challenge, but I will definitely do it. You're gonna start the challenge off. That's what you're gonna do. We're gonna do a new challenge, and you're gonna start it off, and you're gonna tag, and you're gonna somebody's gonna tag. That's what you're gonna do. There you go. Tag and move. Okay. <laughs> tag and move. Okay. Go. We're gonna we're gonna tag and move. We're gonna tag. We're gonna tag. Let's tag five people. How about that? Oh, I can there do that. You want me to tag? I can tag as yep. many as you want me to tag. And they're gonna tag. Moving. And they're going to tag. We're going to get this chain going because I need everybody yep. to understand. The summer's coming. These cookouts. And I got to read y'all. Listen, I just did a remix for it. That's what I'm going to let y'all. And I'm, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to send it to y'all once I'm done. I, I can't tell you. Oh, I nice. Can. I can't let okay. out on cool. it yet, but I did a, I did a go-go remix. Literally. Oh, oh go But I did a, not like, not this, I did a straight up. Doing the butt EU like there you go. Real, oh, go, that watch go. it to DC. Wow. Watch it to DC. I did go real, go <laughs> go go. Oh yeah, it's a real totally go, go. different song. It's a to- it's nothing. I did the lyrics over. I did everything over on it. Mm. It's crazy. Oh. From li- everything is live. Drums, horn, nice. everything. It's 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 nice. authentic. Go go. When I tell you, I played. So why can I wait for that well, and then do the challenge? No, I'm just joking. No, no, uh-uh, 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 You're going to do the challenge uh-uh. to both of them. <laughs> there you go. There you go. See, 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 see Mike, Mike stick together. You see what I'm saying? That's why. I, <laughs> I knew I was going to be tagged. There we was, go, Mike, right? Mike said, Come on, man. Okay, I, I am going to do it. I said I was going to do okay. it. Okay. I always, when I say I'm going to do something, I always do it. So I'm going to do it. There you go. All right, y'all. Y'all hear yeah. her on all her social yeah. media. Y'all hear oh. her, so she's going to do it, and she's going to do it every day next week, she said. She's going to put up every oh. day. No, 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 oh, no. I said. She's going to put up once a day, she said. She's going to put up every day, uh, and, tag, and tag about 50 people. <laughs> yeah, you want me to tag? I can tag. I can run it every day. I didn't say I was going to do it every day. I will do 5 it. PM, by 5 p.m. every day. By Monday 5 p.m. Week, she said she starting Monday. <laughs> starting <laughs> Monday. Starting Monday. Oh, my God. The pressure, the pressure. I, I yeah, that's, hey, Mike, that's that's what I heard her say too. Actually, you know, yeah, I heard you say it. Yeah, okay. that's what I heard you, you said. Yeah, right. definitely. I can probably rewind we it for you. We nah, had to, sorry, we we had to do a rewind and see what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It got del- it got deleted. Sorry, the back tape got deleted. No, is that, is mm-hmm. that what it is? Okay. You, you know, it did. You got to take our word for it. You got to take our word for it. That's what you said. Yeah. I don't know where you were I mean, at. Folks, folks is hitting me. I'm getting tired. Folks is hitting me telling me you, you said it. I, I'm, oh, I'm a screenshot. Well, I'm a screenshot. It. Okay. I'm a screenshot. Okay. They're saying you said it. They, that's what they Y'all got to hey, see that. I had hey, to see the screenshot because I don't believe. That's hey, Mike, Mike, they texted okay. me huh? saying, they texted me saying, like a few people texted me saying, man, I knew your butt wasn't doing the dance. <laughs> <laughs> You know how messed up that is, man? With family texting you saying that crap. <laughs> yeah, that's No, but Mike, that's Mike, Mike. I'm like, Mike, what you trying to say, man? <laughs> no, seriously, up, Mike. I want, if you were, cre- no, I'm not going to do that because that would be really wrong. Because I was going to say, if you were creative enough, you actually, could you actually could do it. Because what you could do is you take your cane and let your cane do See, if your hands would, could move like that, see, this is different things you could do. You got to be creative. You got to think <laughs> no. out of the box. Think you outside listen. of that little yeah. morsel yeah. inside of your head. Yeah. Just, just think outside yeah. of that. Outside of that box. Outside of that box is is the, is the old man's version. Nobody wants to see the old man's version of that. 
that, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is gonna kill us all. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it down to about sixty sixty beats per minute. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know, it's just gonna it's gonna mess the whole thing up, man. That's okay. That's all right. I'm, you know what? I'm a represent. I'm a represent for Soul Sister. To. How about that? See, I'm a represent. To, for that's what I'm saying. Every day next yeah. week. I can't believe she said every day at 5 p.m. Every day. I can't 5, 5 p.m. Yo. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 5 Eastern, Eastern Standard, Standard Time. time. Yo. Oh yeah. I'm I can't forget yo. that. That was yeah. That was real heartfelt. She she must have loved the song yo. as soon as she heard it, man. Yo, Heck I, yeah. yo, I appreciate you, yo, Mo, I, I really appreciate you for that. Like I got you. buddy. Y'all real funny. Real funny. Wow. Yeah. Well, oh, I yeah. want to say this. Why y'all sitting there, bust, you know, waiting for my, you know, just every day at 5 p.m.? Is that what you, you know, since you think I said that? I want to say this. So before before we move forward, since we have this topic, I want both of you to answer the topic or give your views about this topic. Is physical appearance important or is it shallow? So I need that answer. Oh, there you I, I go. don't know I'll let big, what you going I'll to let do. Big Mike start that one off. I'll let Big Mike start that one off. Big Mike, is physical appearance important well, or just shallow? Well, in the words of Big Mike, <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. No, nah, no, nah, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> um, you know what? It, it, I think I think for me and this is you know, this is how I think, um, it has some importance to it. Um, it's not everything, but I think um it's it is important to be able to look at somebody, um, you know, for a while. You know. I, I, like you mm-hmm. do, you get through the you get through the hype, you get through all that stuff. You get to you know, and, and you gotta be able to stay with somebody. I've been with my wife for thirteen years. We've been married for thirteen mm, years. Nice. And Nice. I still think she's as sexy as she was 13 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So, so for go. me, like sex appeal plays a part. Um, um, it's a certain look. Like I'm different. I, I, you know, I mean, and body is all that stuff. That stuff is great. You know, but you know, it's 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 how you look at me. It's what you say. All those all those things play a part. So I think it's a little fifty fifty of it of both sides. You know what I'm saying? If, mm-hmm. if, 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 if you feel me, help me out, Mike. Don't let me stand here. I got you. No, I'm hearing you, family. <laughs> I'm hearing you. I'm with you. I'm like, you know, oh, you know yeah. and, 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 and I just think that that play, it, it, you know, it plays a part. I mean, you know, I mean, everybody wants somebody, you know, that 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 looks good. You know, I will, you know, of I will course, hold, you know, and, and you know, but at the same time, you know, you want somebody who can hold a conversation, or somebody who can, you know, you mm-hmm. don't, you know, you don't want a blonde, you don't want, you know. It, it it gotta make yeah. sense, you know. And what works for you works for you. It may not work for me. It may not work for the next person. But for I say, if it works for you, man, run right. Away. There you go. Well, okay. and that's well, we I have think. a caller. And I'm not changing. And that's Big Mike's. <laughs> that's Big Mike Clement. Because we know it's not Mike. We have a caller. We have a caller. So now you got oh, that's two weeks of putting that's that's the dance up. <laughs> Tanya, welcome to Soul Elixir. How are you, sweetie? Hey, how is everybody tonight? I'm doing well. Good, good, good. Hey, Hello, Tanya. Hello, how are you? Good. Yeah. Bless you, bless you. What's up? I, I, I heard the question, and um, good question, by the way. It all depends. Okay. Um, as you get older and you mature, things start to change. We all know that. Um, when you were younger, in your 20s and your 30s, oh, he's fine, oh, she's pretty, and this, and the other. But as I got older and mature, I find that the mind is very sexy to me. But don't get me wrong, I want something that's pleasing to the eye as well. Mm-hmm. So I can agree, it is a, it is a 50-50 um, uh, perspective when you actually look at it overall. Because we all like something nice to look at. Because as we get older, you know, our features and our body appearance start to change. Just a little bit, mm-hmm. exactly. And, mm-hmm. and if I can't hold a an, an intelligent conversation with the finest man on earth, and you can tell me a door now, that doesn't move me. You know, I have to be able to sit on a couch, and we can converse back and forth. I think that's the mm-hmm. sexy thing. And you are, you know, attractive. That'll pull mm-hmm. me in more than someone that's fully attractive and and lift nothing. Nobody's home upstairs. But I think it's mm-hmm. just, exactly. and with, and with men. I think with men as well, you find that girl with the hourglass body, and you start talking to her, 
And before you know it, you're like, oh, my God, this girl is dense as hell. She's pretty as hell, but she's dense too, but that doesn't move you. Mm-hmm. If you have a right. an hourglass body and you sit down and she could hold an intelligent conversation about the president and the bacalone and cheese sandwiches, that's a good thing. And you could grow with that. That's a good thing. So I think with age, it does change a little bit, and it is like a 50-50. I don't think it's shallow mm-hmm. so much. And if you go through life like that, then you have a problem. But if you can balance it out a little bit, I think it's all well. It's all well. Mm-hmm. So okay. let me okay. ask you oh, a question. On. Let me ask you a nice. question. Um, Ryan. So what happens, you know, again, when we're talking mm-hmm. about the physicality of it. So mm-hmm. just say, for instance, you meet, you meet a nice young man. And, mm-hmm. you know, he's pleasing to the eye. And mm-hmm. you, have a great conversation, you know, you, mm-hmm. he takes you out to dinner, he treats you nice, he's respectful, um, you know, he he appreciates you, you know what I mean, he mm-hmm. always compliments you, and mm-hmm. what happens if there is something, that one thing, whatever that may be, that's wrong with him, would that deter you from talking to him, whether it be, just like you said, you know, when men look at females, they, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. they get shung by the hourglass body, right. and they're right. like, okay, this is what mm-hmm. I want first, right. and then they follow up. So is there something that kind of shuns you from that person, like, after you've built up, you know, kind of liking them for this, and then something just happens? Just, just just, something happens just crazy. I mean, I don't want to throw it out there, but I just want to hear what you want to say because I'm going to say it. Like, well, just say it's something just goes um, to the left. Well, well, I'm going to put it like this. I'm a seasoned woman. I was married for 27 years. So I yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. I got that. I got, I got 27 and, and was with him almost 34 years. So I've been through what you're nice. saying through that stage. So, you know, one thing, like my pet peeve used to be, you know, the pot belly. Okay. That, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean okay. to say that. I don't okay. mean to get excited. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just, listen, I'm just saying, you know, it's okay because as with age, some things change, you know. You can get that a little circumference. But I don't want you looking like we stand in the mirror and you looking nine months pregnant. And I don't have two kids, so why is your belly bigger than mine? So if we can <laughs> shave off a little bit, I can work with you. I don't put it like that. I can work with you. I can stay in a loving manner, honey. We both set it up. And, you know, I think we both should go to the gym or whatever. We need to work up a couple of pounds. It's not saying I would not go along with you and not talk to you, but... It has uh-huh. to be something that we can work on. But I'm not going to have your stomach looking like you got twins in there and you talking about, oh, you come here. No, no, sugar. you got to do something with that first. You know, you know, you to, I don't want to have to speak in time. So I'm making myself wait. <laughs> but you know what? The reason why I said that because that's messed up. You know, that is messed up. Yeah, you know, I'm not saying that I'm a genius or anything, Latanya, but that is a little shallow. No, but let me say this. Well, listen to this, Tanya. I actually know Latanya, and we have a friend in common, and it's a female. And I don't, I don't know, if, Tanya, you remember the story, but. Say their name. She was involved with this guy. I know, right? What's her name? What's her name? <laughs> What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? What's I can't tell you. Listen, I can't, I can't oh. disclose her name on air because that would not be You said Tracy? But anyway. No. Did you say Tracy? <laughs> right. What would you Gina? say? I can't do that. So anyway, she she was dating this guy. This guy was mm-hmm. gorgeous. I mean, he was, she was probably Kevin. the finest <laughs> guy you ever want to see in life, okay? Mm-hmm. So, and this is what I'm saying, yeah. like, the outer, the outer part of a male it, it can get you. I mean, you know, he dressed right. nice, smelled nice, looked good, nice car, very intelligent, smart, mm-hmm. did all the right things, you know, bought flowers, all of that kind of stuff. But when he took off his shirt, it was like somebody's grandfather showed up at the party. Wow. Oh, wow. You know what I'm talking about? He had his chest oh my God. look like sagging, <laughs> sagging, sagging. Oh, my God. Oh, man, wow. sagging thing. So what she did was, <laughs> what she did was, she said, <laughs> politely, she said, excuse oh me. Oh, my God. Because she was in a state of shock. So she was just like, Oh, my God. I don't understand how, you know, you could wear, like, regular 
you know, tank shirts, and I didn't notice that. She said, but there is no help for that. Like, you can't even work out to even fix that. Oh. So she actually mm. broke up with him. It was just like, I can't. I cannot look at that every day and night. Mm-mm-mm. You know, not Mm-mm-mm. only that, he had some other issues, but she was just like, you oh. know, like, once he took his clothes off, he just had a full bag of issues. And she was just like, okay, I'm done. So is that shallow oh, wow. or what? Wow, oh, yeah. that's messed up. Yeah, that's, right. that's, 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 that's the prime definition. Oh, <laughs> like, oh my God. Wow. Yeah, that's the shallow. Like, I mean, so what's your so preference? Is, what is your preference? Are we, you know? are we saying like it's uncondi- are we supposed to be like unconditional right now? Or, I mean, uh, oh, yeah, it's just what's I mean, important to you. It's just what's important to you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's your choice. Yeah. Yeah. what's important to you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, yeah. you have to and, live and, in that situation. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, yeah, yeah. everybody, you know, keeps it on. It's what it is. Yeah, you know. Y'all messed up, though, y'all. You know what, though? You know what? One thing about y'all, and let me just, I'm sorry, but some of y'all can be like this. You guys, like, now if a man did that to you, you know, is he wrong? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, he, like we we can't say that, but y'all can. Why is that? What? Say what? Like if a man said that same thing to that woman. If he said the same, if if we said the same, if me and Mike was talking said the same story, what would y'all say? Mm. Well, here's the thing. I'll be honest. Now, women are very, 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 you know what I mean, judgmental of themselves, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We are probably Mm -hmm. more harder on ourselves than what you think we are. Okay? You you are. And I know... I know Tanya can contest to this. Like, if I'm feeling some kind of way, like I'm feeling bloated, I'm like, yo, dude, I need to do, like, 100 crunches today. And then right. somebody will look at me mm. like, what? what? I mean, so we're more, we are more, you know, tough on ourselves than what you think. But if a guy came mm. to me and said to me, um, you look like, the scenario, somebody's grandmother or whatever. Okay, first and foremost... We got some issues because I might go black. Go black <laughs> yeah. out. See? But... <laughs> Y'all got to see? I know you will. That's why I asked. Uh, you know what? Uh, we, we, we can't Sometimes. say to y'all what y'all say to us. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Like, if y'all, okay, you come home, and we all dress the ready to go out for the night, and we waiting on you to get home. The first thing you might say, like, if you don't, if you disapprove of something, you going to wear that? But if we said to you, <laughs> you right, going, right, hey, right, baby, right. you going to wear that? No, you know, no. You know what? Here's the thing. I really believe, like, you know, we have another caller, and I'm going to get them on. But let me say this before we bring the other caller on. Okay. But I will say this. I mean, if I'm going out and just say we're going out and you don't look like something's wrong with what you have on. I'm not going to – I don't believe in – I believe in transparency. I believe in truth because if you're with someone in a relationship, you should be honest and truthful. But mm-hmm. you don't do it to of be hurtful. Of course. You know what I mean? You don't right. want to be hurtful. So there's, there's different ways you can talk to people or say it to oh, your yeah. spouse or say it to, you know, your significant there other you that go. you're with. You can say things like, sweetie, you know, like – that those two colors you're don't match. That. But, but are you okay with that? <laughs> like, if he goes, you know, I'm okay that. with it. I, you know what? I gotta oh watch yeah, out. that's real sensitive. Oh yeah, that's real sensitive. Right. Hey baby, you right. colorblind. Your clothes don't match. <laughs> you you good with that? Right. right. You're not gonna say that. You're gonna say you wearing that. You going uh-huh. with me like that? You can you, 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 you can dress it up all you want. This phone. You're not. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Or, or even, Five, or even you know worse, you probably just go go get him something different. <laughs> right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Probably go bring him a different mm-hmm. outfit, man. Man, mm-hmm. that sounds like Momo to me. Man, but yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Be, like be that. nice all you want. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody try to, no, everybody I, try to sweeten it up. I don't understand. You, know? you don't understand. Exactly. All right, let me bring, okay, let me bring though. this one last caller on. Um, okay, who we got? We're bring we got. L Boogie to the line. Hey, L. L Boogie. What's, What's up, Boogie? Hey, guys. What up? Hello, hey, hello, hey, hello. I've been sitting here trying to gather my thoughts. And first time I must say that natural beauty is the best beauty. My grandmother always said, you can't buy pretty. You, you can buy everything, <laughs> you can't buy pretty. Right, my, I agree with that. Day. Yeah. True. Now, I want to hear a funny story. You ever met somebody who was beautiful on the outside, whether it was male or female, they had the body, they had the look, 
They had the sexiness going, but they were dumb as a doornail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the biggest, you know, that's yeah, the first biggest turn off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's 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 a turn off for you. That's a turn off for your behind right there, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you sitting there, mm-hmm. you looking, and then the first thing that come out their mouth is something goofy. But I'm talking about like air hair, and like hair hairs. Like I mean, like you'd be like, what? Did she just really say that? Or you know, like, was I but mm-hmm. the there's always, there's always, and, then, and you know, this. I'm, I hope I'm not being shallow, but there's always a way to Too get late. yourself out of that kind of situation. You know, and it's it's sad that you do meet people that are, you know, have a little issue. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not the smartest. But mm-hmm. for everybody on this line, cause you, you know, I got Tanya on the line. I got El Boogie on the line. Like, for those of you who know me, I try to make the best out of every situation because I don't like, I really don't like hurting people's feelings, and that's just not what I do. I just believe mm-hmm. that you can turn a bad situation into a good situation that would probably make them understand that maybe I need to do something um, to better myself without you saying it. You know what I mean? They just actually, you know, actually do it. And I don't know if that's because, you know, I, I've, you know, studied psychiatry, you know, but the, the thing about it is, is I kind of, I feel bad when people, like for instance, I, I, I actually, in college, it was this guy, he was really cute, really cute guy, uh, but like else, I mean, he was dumber than a doorknob. But you know what I mean. He was funny and you know really cute guy. So for me, what I did was I just did like little extra stuff, which I didn't have to do. But I would be like you know like his homework and stuff like that. He couldn't get to, he couldn't get the work. He couldn't do anything. I was like, how did you get into college? You know, he gave me the story. But certain things, it was just like common sense, and I was just like. You don't take the time to think about what you say before you talk or research. Research is very important. If you don't know anything, just go just go and look. You know, ex- we have, mm-hmm. well, I'm telling my age, encyclopedia. Just look it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look it up with encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And figure it out. You know what I mean? She even say Google. Oh, so no, no. She said encyclopedia. <laughs> look it up with encyclopedia. She went straight on back. Figure it out and come back and then discuss it. Or if you don't know, like you can, you know, kind of in a, in a kind of sly way, ask a friend, you know, what, what do you think about this? Like if you don't know something, like, hey, Tanya, what do you think about, you know, this specific thing about law, about the government? Now, you know Tanya knows it, so she's going to give you the 401. Then you take that and you go back and you talk to the chick and be like, well, yeah, you know, in the government, you know, when history was broken, you know, Washington did X, Y, Z. It's all kinds of things that people can do it, but I just, it's like, hey, if you, hey, Mo, you just got Hey, Mo, but let's figure it out this way. But you, but here's the first thing you said. You said the dude is dumb as a doorknob. He's not thinking <laughs> about that. Keyword. He's not thinking Keyword. to ask. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, but this is what I, but this is what I say. I don't, I don't. I don't judge them and say you're dumb as a doorknob. I try to give them the answer. Like, I try to give them the best way to do it. Why don't you look in a encyclopedia? Maybe that could help you, you know, in your choices mm-hmm. of things that you need to say or ask somebody else before you answer that. Like, I don't want to ever but, have some. Like, if somebody called me dumb as a doorknob, then I'm, I'm going to be highly offended. And I'm probably going to sit there and look up stuff on Google be like, I am not dumb as a doorknob because this says X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? But it's just yeah. like crazy. I'm, I'm sorry. Mo, if they, yeah. they're dumb as a doorknob, it's not even going to affect them by you saying it. They're just going to say, oh, well. <laughs> I can't keep on moving, yeah. man. They're not, they're not going to go research <laughs> that thing. They're not going <laughs> to go over like that. Picture. Dude, they're going to be like, the hell with Mo. And what Mo should do is yeah. just move on from that dumb ass nigga. It's time to move on. <laughs> ah. You're <laughs> right. <laughs> There's somebody out there for them. Anyway. Huh? There's somebody out there for them. Uh-huh. <laughs> man, please. You definitely, man, move wow. on. And, I mean, that might make me shallow. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I have a, I have limited tolerance these days for, for, for dumbness like and for, for BS. Like, I have limited tolerance for it. So I mean I may be shallow in my older days, but you know, but I accept much more. Like I'm not a, I'm not that physical person in the sense that your body has to be this or all that stuff. You know, for me, I'm I'm, I'm like the person where I look at your appearance. You know, so your appearance has to be taken. You have to definitely show up nice and clean, looking clean, looking fresh, giving your best version of you. 
you know what I'm saying, to me, for me to be, like, anywhere near paying attention. You know, if not, mm. if I see anything that remotely <laughs> suggests that you don't take care of yourself, then how do I expect you to take care of me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? True, I'm like, true, oh, true, true. <laughs> you know, if you don't true. respect yourself, how are you going to respect, like, anything I do or say or who I try to be, whatever? So, I mean, so right. in saying that, mostly what I worry about is how I present myself. You know what I'm saying? I know if I'm presenting that, that best version of myself out there and I'm worrying about my appearance, it's going to attract those people that my spirit is meant to attract. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's not going to attract this, but it's going to repel anything that's not supposed to be there. And if it doesn't, you know, once they open up their mouth and like you said, if they dumb as a door now, I will do the rest. Trust me. I'll be like, hey, you know uh, what? it's nice at meeting the end of the day, you. It's time to go. At the end of the day, everyone is beautiful. Everyone has a beautiful soul. Oh, everyone yeah. is beautiful. So Everybody it doesn't just, matter. Yeah, yeah. Um, to somebody. Why can't we all survive? Why Everybody's beautiful to somebody. Everybody's beautiful. And you know what? There's somebody. For, you ever you ever walk down? You ever look at someone or look at a couple and say that like, okay, like, or oh, one of them looks crazy, another one like you, you're wondering like, how how y'all hook up? You know what I'm saying? But it's uh, the same that you just said. Everybody's for somebody. Like how you how you yep. get kids? How you get you know like you know you have everybody's going on. Everybody on the phone has looked at somebody and was like. You got kids, you know, or something like that. And so, so it's everybody for someone. I believe in that. I truly that believe. believe that. I am oh, not yeah. going to open my mouth. And, and, you know and the more that if you I travel this world say, and see people, oh my God, I you say got to be. What I'm getting ready to say, what about, I'll tell you right now. What about, we, now you know we, you, you got to say it. So, come on. So, you know what you got to say now. What's up? Like, anyway, do it. you got to, bro. Oh, up, how you gonna lead us? How you gonna lead us out there to the water and then like take it back? Come on, stop. We're in the middle of the desert, out in the middle of the desert. No, I, I mean, you know what? It's, it's, I mean, the statement. Everybody, every, there is somebody for everybody. Somebody. But damn, okay. like some people, mm-hmm. <laughs> you just be like, what in the hell? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, like. Yeah. I get it. I get it. But, you know, it. I guess that's that shallow part. I, I mean, I guess it's like, okay. Huh? Mo, Mo. Uh, you get it, Mo? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I can't. my God. It's crazy. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do that. Well, I'm not going to be able to speak on that because that, no, that's just not. See? I just yeah, say see, for I mean, anyone, I'll say this. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And <laughs> what we see, somebody else may not see. Remember that Remember that movie, Shallow How? <laughs> what we uh, see, somebody else may not see. He may see his own vision, and that's his vision of love. And we can't judge that person. So what we thought we saw, they may be looking through another eyeball piece, and this is what they see. Mm-hmm. So who am I to judge? If you love it, mm-hmm. I like it. Okay, and there you that's go. real. There you go. There you no, go. No, no, that, that's real though. That's real. Everybody has their own. Yeah. This, this time when I see me, I'm always been a person that I like sexiness. That's just that's just me. I like mm-hmm. that because to me, you can be pretty and not be sexy. You know, right? You know, obviously. And and, and I believe in being sexy. Like my wife still, she still like looks like she's trying to look a certain way. When she's home, you know, like I appreciate that kind of stuff. She, she's just like, you know, like she know I hate them bonnets that y'all be doing, it, you know what I mean? And, and, and but, but she, but she won't wear it when, when she wants to wake up, she take it off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like all, all that kind of stuff, like plays a part to me, and it always keeps attention to me. You know, to 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 a person that's like, wow, oh, wow, okay, you take you going through this, and I make sure I keep a haircut every week. I make sure, you know, just keeping your parents up because you never want to get comfortable. On, on mm-hmm. you know on, on how you look and you know but, but you know I'm, what's funny about that, that uh uh-huh. mm. what mama you know what's, what's funny, funny about, about that? that because I think that and and I truly believe that because I think and it's and again it might be the era um again telling that age but I remember you know you know, when you start to date growing up you know having my own you know, apartment things like that and you know dating and there was never a time ever that I had a scarf on at night, rollers, none of that stuff. 
Like, I would sleep, no lie, with my hands. And I guess it became, like, something, you know, it was, I guess a lot of people do it. I don't know. Tanya, I think, Tanya, you did it too. But we used to sleep with our head hanging off the bed or our, our <laughs> hands positioned under our chin. You know what I mean? So you wouldn't mess up your hair. Like, you just, you went to bed like that. You woke up like that. You know what I mean? So... For me, oh like God. even to this day, like when I sleep, I sleep on my hands, and my hair is just what it is. I don't, I don't believe in looking like Aunt your Mama when you wake mm-hmm. up. Like I just don't, no. I don't just no. believe that that should be something that you should do. Now, if I'm going to no. the gym and I don't want to sweat my hair out, then you know maybe I might throw a cap on, you know, or wrap mm-hmm. my hair and take it off. But just to be in the bed next to a man with with, with your do rag on curlers and stuff, that's just not me. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I, you know, I probably watch too many movies and stuff. When people wake up like, ah! no, that you you'll never wake up to that. <laughs> never. That's never <laughs> something that's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, that's good. That's good. That's good. You know, I just believe like you. Go. You know, I even had the, I even had the little quirkiness. Like you know, <laughs> now this is crazy. Now this is shallow. <laughs> now this is shallow. You know, like you sleep, you know, I would even get up at like 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, or maybe 3, right before you know it, and go brush my teeth, and then get back in the bed. <laughs> oh, you serious? I'll tell you. I'm not I do doing that. that. I, you know, <laughs> and I just do that, like, because I brush my that. teeth before I go to bed, and then like, you know, like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, I, I'm like, oh, okay, let me get up, and I'm going to get up at 5 or 6, but I'm going to go and brush my teeth real quick or whatever, because I just don't want to be like, I get it, you know, but that's just me. That might be shallow, wow. but that's just me. Wow. I mean, you can with that, though. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Yeah, I mean. Oh, you go through a yeah, I mean, a I'm sure your man appreciates that. <laughs> I'm sure he can appreciate what? that. <laughs> well, you got to say, morning, honey. <laughs> I'm sure he definitely appreciates that. <laughs> yeah, no, they do like this. They say, um, wow, you, your breath always smells so fresh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right. Man. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's that could be shallow. Yeah, I mean, we all look. What I've gathered, honestly, is okay. We a bunch of nice and holy people, but we some shallow motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? We shallow. <laughs> <laughs> we got some shallow moments here, man. We be like, yeah. nah, you know, I love, I love how you look, but <laughs> you dumb to the mother. <laughs> right. I love how the, I love how you. Oh my god, I love that suit. I love that car. I love them shoes. But damn, your body? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, we can't right. deal with this. I mean, like, dig right. all the stuff that was said on this phone tonight. We shallow. Yeah, it's a lot. We have some it's shallow folk. Bo- we have some shallow folk. You guys are real back. shallow. Y'all wrong. You guys and the are women, shallow. The women, on the, phone, the women on the phone really, really are shallow. Like, y'all are worse than us. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all women, worse, can, yeah, women can definitely be worse. Only because y'all, y'all get work. to say whatever you want to say, however you want to say it, mm-hmm. and you don't mm-hmm. expect us as men to take it personal. You know, and most mm-hmm. of the time we don't. We be like, whatever, you know, and just let it roll off our shoulders. But that's probably why y'all get to be more shallow. Like I said, now, y'all have that voice. I, y'all I, can I, say whatever you, you know, want. To be honest, I mean, I was just enjoying the conversation of things that was told to me and things like that. But honestly, I believe that if you're dating somebody and they have issues, you need to talk it through. If there's something that you don't like that they, they have on or this position, I mean, if you love them enough and they care about you, you should be able to talk about that. Like, dude, you know, like, hey, sweetie, you know, like, when you wear purple, like it doesn't match with with the uh, green. I mean, you can you can have these like, conversations. Like all the kids you know mistake I mean? you for Barney when we out. You know. <laughs> so you guys, I mean, but you, you know what? Nice and polite. The person that you with, the person that you wish should respect you. I mean, like I said, you don't have to be harsh in saying it, but the person that you with should respect you. And a lot of times, you know, when you're with someone, they're supposed to compliment who you are. You know what I mean? So it's not like you're supposed to get into change who this person is or change their characteristics because at the end of the day, we all know we've all been, you know, married. Um, And the thing about it is through being married for a very long time, because I was married over 15 years, so being married over a very long time, what happens is with your mate, you tend to um, play off of each other. I mean, I'm not saying dress alike, but you tend to pick up their characteristics in some form or fashion. You know what I mean? So all of that speaks to itself. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. you know, if you have one person that's a sharp dresser and the other person that's a little need a little help of how to, you know, 
categorize what they wear, you know, either two things are going to happen. That person, the other person is going to help them out. You know, babe, I think this looks better with that instead of wearing that. You might want to try to do that, you know. And they may start to see things like, you know, whatever. I mean, those things happen. More time I mean, than enough. That. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I mean, it's, 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 it's not always what you say. It's how you say it most of the time. You know, so if you can just be like, I guess, conscious of whoever your mate is, like you said, you're not saying anything to be malicious or hurt that person on, you know, on purpose, you know, so you have to be mindful of how you say it to that person. And that person also has to know who's who they're talking to and where they're getting this advice from. So they know there's not an attack on them and they can take it the right way, too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, and, and, and you know, like, you're talking about women are shallow. Guys are shallow, too. I had a friend oh, yeah. that broke up with his girlfriend because his boys was talking about his girlfriend and was like, she has the disease. And people were like, what disease? He said, no acid talk. Oh, so, you know, oh, no he actually <laughs> woke up with her. Oh, because my his God, boys kept man. saying, you know, she, she, has, she, you know, she has no acid talk. So, you want to talk mean, about women? But if it's, men are shallow, but too. No, no, no. No, that was just a dude that didn't want to be with that woman because if, if he wanted to be with that woman, no matter what his boy said about her having no ass at all and all that other stuff, he would have stayed right there. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, it's something that he wanted. He wanted a woman with an ass, you know? So he moved on. You know, that was his choice. It wasn't about the shallowness. He just made a choice. Yeah. Uh, Man. That's crazy. Whatever he wanted in the beginning, he, he moved on. You know, it is what it is. He should have took her to the gym and said, babe, let's do some squats. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't, you don't, you have don't that much time. do that. Like, you got to care. <laughs> cater to your cater to yeah. your spouse. Like, no, babe, let's do some squats. There you go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It's, it's more than that. You got to eat a, a ton of food. You got to do the squats. I mean, it's not for so big you can get that muscle in such a short period of time. But well, you talk about yeah, long haul you know. type of deal. You talk about marriage but long haul. <laughs> You're not talking about no overnight. <laughs> really? Man, she works hard at it. She could get what she needs. Yeah, it's called implants. <laughs> 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 this is 2016, man. Please. Squat. Yeah, right. 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 Dude, hey, right. <laughs> You're not right. Do they right. thing, right? I, I know, but you know, but I'm right at the same time. But it is what it is, man. But we, like I said, we all have our choices, man. We all have our shallow moments, you know. None of us are any different, you know. We have, at the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy. You have to make the choices that make you happy. Because if you're giving a facade for that person, it's not for so long it's going to last. One day you're going to wake up and you're going to look in that mirror and you're going to say, I'm not being true to myself. And you're going to end up kicking that person out or you kicking yourself out and just rolling and going on your merry little way. And I mean, so why waste that time if you can just be honest from day one and be yourself from day one and accept who you want to accept by your choices? You know what I'm saying? This is who you want. Go for what you want. Don't 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 just accept things. I love you know everybody. I love everybody. I think right. everyone's beautiful. I think everyone's beautiful. <laughs> everyone's in their own beautiful way. in their own special way. And I think everyone's you know, I think, beautiful I don't in think, their own special. I don't think way. everybody should be shallow. I should think you should give them a chance. Give people a chance, no matter what. You never no, know. I'm not. Because what could be on the outer may not be on the inner. So True. it takes conversation to realize what that person, you know, how deep that person's soul is and how beautiful that person that could shine outside of all of that. Mm. But on that, that note, sounds, yeah. oh, that yeah. sounds what? That's, that sounds, that, that sounds, sounds good. good. Like you, you said that well. I like that. You said that up. Like, that's, <laughs> Thank that's you. <laughs> that was that was but that. on that note, <laughs> Mike. Big Mike, yes, let yes, yes. our listeners oh, big Mike. know where they can find you. You can find me. <laughs> <He's at>. Really? <laughs> yeah. And you, you, can find, you can reach me by phone. Uh, <laughs> uh, w, on my website, which is www.biglemonse.com. I am Big Mike Clemens on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all the social media. I'm Big Mike Clemens, and my website is Big Mike Clemens. Pretty much, that's, okay. that's pretty much. That's what's up. It's pretty much and it. Mike, you know what I'm saying? Okay, hold on, hold on. So Mike, before where can we y'all find go to you? Big Mike, hold on, Momo. So when y'all go to Big Mike Clemens joint, expect to hear that remix coming up. 
That's first and yes. foremost. So I know yes, it's going to be yes, posted. Yes. And those Ooh, tour dates. Wait. And that tour dates, his promotional tours he's working on right now. So y'all make sure y'all go yeah. in there and find out about it. I know I need to know where you're yeah. going to be at, brother. I'm going to have to pick up on that energy. Man. Yeah. So Mike yeah, ain't right. doing it. Mike ain't doing it. How about L.A.? <laughs> You yeah, I'm out of LA. Man, I'm out there. We're out there Friday, man. Shoot. We're okay. Friday. Yeah, we got a show oh, out there. Yeah. So. Oh, that's what's I mean, up. I think, I think it's a Greek, Greek Fest or something like that. A Greek Fest, I think. Something. Greek Theater? Okay. Greek, yeah, okay. Greek Theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. So, Oh, heck yeah. That should be all right. That should be all right. Yep. I'm going to get another red <laughs> eye and come right All right, Mike, home. where can we find you? Uh, he's trying to be oh, funny. Can't? Uh, okay. <laughs> Mike Bates, <laughs> Mike Bates at Facebook, uh, Mike Boys the Men, and same thing on Twitter at uh, Mike Boys the Men. So you know, what I'm saying just Mike Bates McCary at Mike Boys the Men. You can find me on okay. those. Okay, and this is the Mo, the essence of and Mo. Mo. Where can we find you at Mo? Where can we find you? Where can we find you at? You're gonna find, find me on Instagram and Twitter, the essence of Mo, and Facebook, Monica dot Anderson on on Facebook and then MonicaElom.com is my website. And also, stay tuned for Monday. I will be uh, dropping that video for everyone at 5 p.m., so make sure you watch Heck for that. Yeah, no, and then um, check us out on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel to listen to um, shows in the past and this show here. And you can check us out every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And next week, we're going to also have another fabulous guest. So, you know, join in because this is where we have real talk, keeping it real, 100 every single Tuesday. Mike, it has been – Big Mike, it has been Big Mike. phenomenal having you on the show. Uh, we really thank appreciate you. it. Come back anytime, <laughs> you know, anything that you're promoting. If you come up with new music, give me a call. Let me know. We'll have you on the show. Um, you know, spread the word you. that, you know, Soul Elixir is here and it's a platform for all celebrities to come on and talk about – what they're doing, connect with their fans, and be able to, you know, just kick it and have fun because that's what we do. All right. I appreciate. I appreciate oh, the yeah. love. I appreciate you guys having me up here for real, like man. Not a problem. I appreciate for you for being here. Thank you for yeah, coming on the show, it. brother. Definitely. And I'm coming yeah, back. And I can't I'm wait to do that video. Week. I'm so excited. I'm gonna start yeah. tonight. Uh, oh yeah. No, you're gonna, gonna do crazy. it because I'm. Gonna, I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna call gonna next crazy. Tuesday. You gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, oh you gonna do it. I know that's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and right. and amongst that, so before we end the show, I would like to say, Big Mike, welcome to the Soul Elixir fam. That means that oh, yeah. guess what? You're welcome at any time. You're a part of the fam. You know, we're gonna start promoting you. We'll do lift a little stuff just to keep it going. Um you know, on our website and stuff like that, just so people can be aware of different projects and keep up with you. And um Thank and spread you. the word and, and spread the love. Okay. I oh, appreciate yeah. it. No doubt. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Word. And I tag like that it. video. Tag that video yeah. everywhere, man. People yeah. need to get what? that no, energy, no, brother. No. They need to get no. that energy. <laughs> I'm tagging it everywhere. Tag the video everywhere. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, especially she gonna do it five. She gonna do it five days. Like I can't. Yeah, five yeah. days straight. <laughs> about five p.m. Hyped. every day. She so talking about five p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and yeah. Friday. I mean, that's what I heard her say. Yeah. So, so wow. <laughs> yeah. And, and the listeners that's heard her that. Up. You know, they heard, listeners heard that too. So we good. See. Thanks, Mo. And she committed you to that the family, great. so that she got that commitment as well. You see, what I'm saying, see how that oh, works. See, see. Yeah. Yeah, it works well. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Can't wait. Y'all real Can't funny wait. there. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all have that one right mean. now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that that works. Thank y'all though, for real, man. I appreciate it. Nah, man. No oh, problem. Man, that's much All right, Mike, you can take us it, out, man. babe. All right, y'all. Yo, as always, we thank you for joining us tonight for another version of Soul Elixir. We definitely thank all the callers that called in, El Boogie and Lauren. And we definitely thank Mr. Big Mike Clemens for being on the show today and being a part of it, sharing the love with us, teaching us how to lose the weight, teaching us how to drum. <laughs> this is he's the best person out there. And give us this daggone heat, man. Wiggle, man. That wiggle song is going to be sick. Everybody better go ahead and cop that. Go ahead and download it right now on iTunes and download it from Amazon Play and everywhere, man. And make sure y'all pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Get this man your love and support. Big Mike Clemens, we thank you for being on the show. 
And as always, we thank you fans out there for listening every Tuesday night. We love y'all. God bless y'all. Tune in next Tuesday. We got more special guests. Y'all ready? Good night, y'all. Good night. Good night. Hey, Lilburn, exciting changes are coming to your Walmart at 4004 Lawrenceville Highway Northwest. Soon, shopping will be easier than ever with improvements across the store. Stop by departments like produce, cosmetics, home, and more to get a glimpse of the upgrades. Plus, you'll still find the low prices you can trust every day on groceries, pharmacy needs, apparel, and more. Your newly remodeled Walmart will be ready on May 13th at 4004 Lawrenceville Highway Northwest in Lilburn. Save money, live better. Walmart.